We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the San Diego Padres and the Detroit Tigers. Detroit go to work on ending what's become an eight-game skid. First pitch is next. Matthew Boyd, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Strike thrower, not afraid to go in and challenge hitters. He's kind of what a manager would like to have. You know what you're going to get with Matthew Boyd. He's not afraid to throw the fastball or his breaking stuff over the plate. Sneaky, really good pitcher. So striding in, Juan Ligares. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Juan Ligares. First offering on its way. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. So guys these Tigers as they begin play here tonight they've had a pretty rough go of it of late and that's being kind. They come in losers of eight in a row. Yeah Maddie, if they're going to find any way to dig themselves out of this current losing streak then they're going to have to downshift a little bit. Do the little things right. Play fundamentally sound. Play good defense. Turn double plays. Don't give the other team extra outs. And then somebody hit a gapper in a big spot and let everybody relax a little bit. Two and one to Juan Ligares. Now the two one. Is taken for strike two. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Hit the other way out toward right field. Stewart is there to put it away for route number one. Not exactly. The right fielder, number four, will. And here's a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting San Diego Padres. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I love watching Manny Machado do his thing. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over 400? As he goes, so goes the team. He's playing great ball and making things happen. Here comes the first pitch. Will Myers comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Boyd has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Now the 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Myers. Swings a bat and throws from the right side and stands at six foot three. He was selected in the third round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Just hung in there on that one. One out, nobody on. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Another full count offering on its way. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. That is third. The left field. Tommy. Fair. 
Into the box now, Tommy Pham. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. First delivery to him on the way. Nope, that's down. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. That is cool. The shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Throw over to first, and the runner back in standing. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 264 is average entering play. Two home runs, 10 RBIs. The 1 0. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Sam, the runner at first with two gone. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back safely. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Padre shortstop ahead with a three-ball, one-strike count. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key-holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Now a throw over to first, just keeping him close. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for San Diego. The Tigers coming up. No score. Zach Davies will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. Now at the plate, Victor Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Victor. Here it comes. Liner towards second, but this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. Batting second, the third baseman, Harold Castro. Next for the Tigers, Harold Castro. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
He pulls this one into right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. First baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in. stretch here's the pitch in the dirt the throw will go to third and oh they say he beat the throw safe at third that can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third you have to be sure you can make it he was there and now he's only 90 feet away the 1-0 looked at for ball number two guys the swing and friars as they take the field here tonight they come off another loss last time out and in fact they've dropped three of their last four yeah Maddie in this sport at this level you you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic you're not going to win every ball game so they lost last game fine let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side three and zero to him now And he loses him on a breaking ball. Almost looks semi-intentional there. The bad news is that there are two men on base. The good news is that an ending, ending double play is now in order. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Head-to-head -head numbers against Zach Davies. He's hitless in three at-bats. Here's the first pitch to him. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. weakly down the line toward third but this will be a foul ball as he's behind Owen two now nothing in two count and the pitch Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Ground ball sent back up the middle to second for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning four to six to three they roll it up to get out of the jam and inning in the books no score on MLB Network. Now batting Manny Machado and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Manny Machado. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Ball one. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. Swing and a miss, 2-1. and one. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. 
fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hit on the ground toward the left. Mercer able to get there. Pro not nearly in time as he reaches it first. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Out of seven, the second baseman, Brian Gentry. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman Brian Dozier. First pitch on its way. Looking at his career totals Dozier hits in the 240s so there's room for improvement in that regard. You know Matty I know his career batting average jumps off at the page but this guy can help the roster in a lot of different ways he brings value to the manager on a daily basis and there's out number two. Batting it. The first base is number 22 Josh Naylor digging in Josh Naylor he appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Inside, ball one. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. A ball and a strike to the Padres' first baseman. Hit out towards second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One hit, one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Here's Cameron Maben now. He was among the many who failed to record a base hit in the loss yesterday. First pitch coming, here it is. To third. Machado has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Elvis. This guy, he does. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Elvis Vizcaino. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. 2 and 0 now. Bottom of the second here with no score. Not very aggressive there as that's down the middle for strike one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. He's fallen behind now. 3 and 1. Austin Romine will be next. The three and one pitch. 
And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Now at the plate, Austin Romine. He's looking to extend that hitting streak, which stands at eight games coming in. Set and the pitch. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. There we go. Pitch outside. The throw is in time as Mejia got him on a great throw. Well, it's pretty frigid out there, and I don't know the science behind it. But it seems pretty difficult to get the full speed when it's this cold. Hard to say, but maybe that had a little bit to do with that caught stealing. A strike, and it's two and one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. The three and one pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Pham will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Tigers failed to make any noise. We'll move to the third with no score. Top of the third set to get underway. Digging in, Francisco Mejia. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 2. Pitch on the way. Oh. the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Hey expect a challenge right here does not want to run the count full. And oh we can't get out of the way of that one so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. And this guy loves to throw the slider and it's a very effective pitch for him but here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Ligares. Here's the first pitch to him. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. The sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Here's Will Myers. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball, that's it. Third inning, no score to this point. Ball, 
And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. 3 and 0 to him now. That's in there, 3 and 1. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. One out and a runner on second base. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Now back, left fielder, Tommy. Coming to the plate now, Tommy Pham. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First offering on its way. Now both runners on the move. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your unassisted double play. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors. And one man left on base. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Back now for the Tigers third turn at bat. And unfortunately for them and their fans, this lineup hasn't really found its stride this season. And during the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves. But we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. First pitch coming. Here it is. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled away. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Left side, but it's well foul. The 2 2 one more time. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Myers is there, one away. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. So stepping in, Kristen Stewart. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And now pitch on the way. A high fastball is in there. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. So now to the plate, Victor Reyes. 
as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike 0 for one here in the early going. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Off speed pitch here but it dips below the knees evening us at 1 and 1. Slap hard the opposite way. That gets down and the inning will continue. Up next for the Tigers, the third baseman, Carroll. Digging in for his second at bat, Harold Castro. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A ball and no strikes. Two out with the man at first. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Here he comes on 2 0. Swing and a liner, but foul. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The three one. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Comes set, the 0 1. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Trying to get Cabrera to chase there, but it's one and two. Well, this is a post we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out the pitches away. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. And from the list of stats you never want to hear if you're a pitcher, we have this. It's only the third inning, and he's already allowed more hits than he did in his entire last outing. So that will bring up Jonathan Scope. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Oh one the pitch strike taken up in the zone nope. now a breaking ball but it's low he didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff oh and two but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. From the stretch, the one-two. 
This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Still two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Strike three called, and the inning is over. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. More in a moment on this Friday night. You're watching MLB Network. Cleanup spot for the Padres. For the Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Here comes the first pitch. Tatis is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground. He has the potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. No contact there, and it's one and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Here's Manny Machado now. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. The 1 0. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Here's Machado with a drive. Well hit to deep left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. Home run number nine on the year. And with it, the Padres have drawn even at one run apiece. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here's Jerickson Profar. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Ah, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. The count now at two and two. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Maven there to put it away for out number two. Up next to the Padres, the second baseman, Brian Dozier. Here's Brian Dozier now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. 
Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in the zone, getting ahead, forcing action. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Still no balls and two strikes. Here's another 0-2. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. One run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Padres strike back to tie things on the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. All tied at one and one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said there is nothing prettier than frozen rope after frozen rope, and that is exactly what he's getting right now. The data says they've hit eight line drives as a team in this one, some resulting in outs, but obviously that's a good sign for them going forward. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Into the box now, Cameron Maven. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. and a throw back to second and a dive but he's back in in now Elvis Vizcaino as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little it's 0 and 1 reach base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Comes set and the 0 1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. A runner at second, nobody out. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. The one two got him swinging in the dirt and the throw is there to record the first down. Now batting Hector up there. Roma. A man at second with one down and up next the catcher Austin Romine. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well, it. Romine, the former Yankee, who was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come off-season. Runner at second here with one man out. One and two to the Tigers catcher.
swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ligaris, but he won't get there. It falls in. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Here's Jordy Mercer now. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Lovers on the move for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Is in time as Mejia got him on a great throw. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base runner. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Tigers get one here on two hits in the inning. We played four full. It's the Tigers two and the Padres one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres offensive production to this point. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said it's been pretty apparent that they're just not finding a lot of hard contact today. There have been a lot of outs on softly hit balls. And while most of the credit for that goes to the opposing pitching, he said it's important for them to continue to make adjustments at the plate. It's games like these where they have to get back to the basics and find a way to generate some offense. The first baseman, number okay, thank you, Heidi. Josh Naylor. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Right fielder looking up. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Second home run early in the year. And the Padres have come back to tie this one at two apiece. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia. And he fouls this one off. The average coming into play right at 320. Two home runs, nine driven in. Here's the 0 1. I got one ball, one strike. Swings through it for strike oh, number two. No outs, nobody on. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Here's Juan Ligaris now. He's got a base hit tonight as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. A 
a swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. So here's Will Myers. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mabin is there. And the inning is over. Padres strike back to tie things on the solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2 2 tie. Number 14. Here comes the first pitch. Out of play off to the right. The wind up and the 0 1. 1 and 1. Take a step back right here after three fastballs in a row there is no chance he throws you a fourth. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Lifted the other way to left center. And that is down as that could be two bases. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. The managers these days like to think of that nine hole hitter as the second leadoff man. And he plays the role pretty well right here. Gets the leadoff double, and now he gives the real leadoff man a chance to bring him home. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Victor Reyes he singled his last time up yeah guys everyone knows he's been slumping Dan you can certainly attest to this only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career the pressure's off now maybe he gets hot he's set here it comes weak roller right side only play will be to the pitcher covering and the runner will advance to third now. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Stepping into the box Harold Castro. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. First pitch on its way. In there, and it's 0 1. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team a lead. 0 1, here it comes. Liner caught by Machado at third. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two now gone now. The first baseman, Miguel Bob Ready once again, Miguel Cabrera. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Fouled off. Cabrera, a 36 year old veteran. This is his 18th season in the big leagues, so he's had quite an incredible career. Yeah, you said it, Matty. Nothing else has to be said. In order to stay in this game 16 years, you have to be a great talent, a great teammate, and have the ability to adjust and evolve as a player. So hats off to him. Looped over toward first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. 
One left for Detroit. Through five, all even at 2-2. Two, two. set for the start of the inning. Now with the play, Tommy Pham. He's working on a one for two game so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Strike one to start the at bat. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Pham is retired, and there's one away. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. And in steps Manny Machado. As he'll take a look at ball one. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Now a throw over, and the runner back easily. Runner at first here with one away in a 2 2 ball game. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner they might leak one a little bit inside and this is where that guy would jump on. Here now the 2 2 popped him up. Cabrera over to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now back, designated hitter, Derek Jane. Go ball. Jerickson Profar digs in next. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. From the stretch. Man at first with two out in a 2 2 ball game. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Throw over to first, runner back standing. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Padres leave one. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked at two apiece. Next, it'll be the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. No hits to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
pulls this one in the air out to left. Pham is underneath this one. And very quickly, one gone. The center fielder, number four, Cameron Mabin. Digging in once again, Cameron Mabin. A hit in two tries for him so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Looks like double-barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. Now the 1-0. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Lagara is giving chase. But he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how manager's thinking. He's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. the Padre manager up out of the dugout heading for the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening so he'll leave in a tie ball game but he is responsible for the runner at third so the best he can hope for is a no decision Cal Quantrill a right handed reliever standing 6 3 gets the ball now out of the bullpen number 40 Cal Quantrill Late now, Elvis Vizcaino. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0 home. to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Hey. Ruled a strike on the outside corner. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A man at third with one away. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Payoff pitch one more time. Again he sends it out of play. Another one sent foul. One out and a runner on third. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll tag him out at the play. And that will keep our ball game tied as the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Seventh inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. John Schreiber is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Ryan Dozier at the plate. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point.
First delivery to him on the way. Ball one. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses that balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Two balls and a strike to Dozier. The 2 1 home. No, that's down. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And the 3-1. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can the afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Josh Naylor is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Yeah, and that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And it looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw in the Tiger bullpen. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. I think he's shown you right there he was trying to put you away with the off-speed pitch. Have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away. That'll keep you on all stuff, fastballs and the off-speed. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Standing in, Francisco Mejia. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And this is going to get down for extra bases. And this will bang up against the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Juan Ligares. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Runners are at second and third with one down. Two balls and no strikes to the Padres center fielder. 
Wow, the Padres have been scuffling so far. They need to get a big hit, and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. 2 0 count. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And the go ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's 3 to 2. The white fielder. Boy, those have to feel really good, D. -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Alex Wilson will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Standing in now, Will Myers. And a late squeeze attempt, and it looks like it's going to work. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. And in the days of three-run homers in nine to eight ball games, you don't see the suicide squeeze executed much anymore, but this right here is a textbook example of getting that bunt down and getting the RBI. Stepping up now, Tommy Pham. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. 0-1 the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Look out, 1-1. Guide down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Padres four and the Tigers two. At the plate, Austin Romine. He's one for two in this one. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. First delivery to him on the way. In there, 0 and 1. Fastball called for strike two. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. He'll try again, one, two. A chance here for Dozier at second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Ready for another shot now. Jordy Mercer. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First offering on its way. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1 0. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4 2 our score. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming inside right there. Didn't do too much damage with it, but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock.
Matt Strong comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. And I think that's exactly the thought process, Matt. He's not as strong of a hitter from the right side, so we'll see if this proves to be a smart move out of the pen. So striding forward now, Kristen Stewart. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. First pitch coming. Here it is. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. As a look, now the pitch. 2-1. Runners on first with one down. Ball Fastball three. and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Victor Reyes, who represents the possible go ahead run here, waits in the on deck circle. The three one rip down the first base line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Fouled away. Another payoff pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in, Victor Reyes. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, nope. they could certainly roll to. Ball one to start the at bat. Count now a ball and a strike. One one smoked on the ground left side and that's through into left a base hit and now this is bobbled in left throw into second and he is in there. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. Stepping up to the plate Harold Castro as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. From the stretch here's the pitch. One pitch on its way. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Hot shot to third. Machado is there, and there are two away now. Yeah. Go for it. 
Andres Munoz takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Miguel Cabrera will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Tigers get just the one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Padres four and the Tigers three. Brian Garcia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. New inning set to get underway. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 0 and 2. The ball and two strikes. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. Swung on and chopped to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time. So the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now better. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. Digging in to try it again. Manny Machado. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air but he can't collapse the backside and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Four three our score here as we play the eighth. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. One thing's clear he's not afraid to pitch inside right. One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly, this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. Now, here it comes. Three and one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count 3 and 2. One out, nobody on. Ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Next will be the designated hitter, Jurickson Profar. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set and the pitch. 
They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Two balls and no strikes to the Padres DH. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Runner, runner. runner goes for second. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And the 2-1. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. The 3 1. One out, one on, and a one run game. Into the corner and slicing foul. Another full count pitch home. Hit hard up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to torrid starts, some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. To the plate now, Brian Dozier as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ball. 2 and 0. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Two and zero count and the pitch. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Three and two now. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Onto the bullpen roof and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left the 198th of his career as it is now seven to three. Into the box, the Josh Naylor. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Where this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it swing and a drive this one's deep to right gone back to
to back homers. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as they open it up to eight to three. The long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Matty V, Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. Yeah, you're watching this pitcher. He's just not executing on both sides. They're missing over the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. In the hitters' meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys could miss middle, and that's exactly what's happening. One for two in the ball game thus far. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Four runs here in this half inning. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Rony Garcia enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Here's Juan Lagares. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. High and deep to left center field. Ranging back is Maben, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Wow, the pitcher must be just shaking his head. That pitch wasn't anywhere near the strike zone, but he gave it the old tomahawk chop and somehow connected with it anyway. Now he's standing on second, and he even has to smile about that one. In now, Will Myers, as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So four runs in the inning and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Not too many more shots left home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Padres eight and the Tigers three. Emilio Pagan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Scope. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Come on, base hit now. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Late that time for a strike. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go One either ball. way now, I suppose. One ball and two strikes to count. The 1-2. And think about it, in game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. The 3-2 pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Myers is under it, one down. Now batting, center fielder, Cameron Maybach. 
Digging in and looking for more. Cameron Maben. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Grounder down the line at third. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Nope. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. And now a curveball nope. that's low and in the dirt for a ball, it's two and one. Here's the pitch. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Myers going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The so a beautiful Number running nine. catch on display that Elvis. time as we get a look at it again with show track. He took a solid route, covered quite a bit of ground, 110 feet to be exact, to bring that one in. That's a catch to remember. Striding forward now is the DH. Elvis Vizcaino, two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, and they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Two out, nobody on. And he misses again, 2-0. Oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3-0. and oh. Austin Romine would be next. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. Down at three and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. I know one thing, he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the wall. Striding in, Austin Romine. Man at first after the two-out walk. As a look, now the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. And that's the third out. Tigers leave one. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. All set to start the ninth in this one. Stepping into the box, Tommy Pham. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First delivery to him on the way. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, shortstop, Fernando Titi Jr. Next to the plate for the Padres, Fernando Tatis Jr. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. A ball and a strike. One and one.
shin high. That's taken for a ball. This is sky down toward right. Right fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Number 13. Manny. So digging in now, Manny Machado. And if you remember, I'm sure he does. He hit a round tripper back in the fourth. The pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Two out, nobody on. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Off speed pitch, and it stays outside, ball three. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Pitch on the way. Fouled off. The 3 1. Strike three, so we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Wait, Drew Pomeranz, a lefty standing six foot six, takes over the pitching duties here. Number 15, Drew Pomeranz. Next up for Detroit, Jordy Mercer. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Jordy Mercer. First delivery to him on the way. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Bat explodes as this has popped up, and no one will get this one. Look out! That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Kristen Stewart. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Padres are going to get something going out in the bullpen now as a left hander has stood up to throw. Bases are empty, one man out. Good waste pitch, 1 and 2. Lays off two and two now. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. 
boy went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble had the count 0 and 2 started nipping at the corners and next thing you know this count stands at 3 and 2. And it's fouled away. The next 3 2. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Victor Reyes. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Dozier has it. Throw to first here. He'll be in time to record the final out. And the Padres have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 8-3 tonight. The Padres jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Cal Quantrill gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. score for our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres eight runs on 11 hits one error they left seven men on base for the Tigers three runs on 10 hits no error they left nine runners on base time of the ball game three hours and 25 minutes thank you for joining us here tonight and we remind